So we continue working with linear regression and last video we were really just getting together the data that we wanted to do our regression on. Now in order to properly explain what I'm doing here I kind of need to plot this up because you know the simplest form of linear regression would be to just put a line on something or, or a plane, a line in multiple dimensions and what we have here is a little bit more complicated so it'll, it'll take some time to explain how I'm going to do this with linear regression and it will help a lot if I can plot it up. So I have these T max values, in fact this is the data that I have which is all of the high temperatures for this particular cluster uh, for 2017 and I want to plot up these values against the date and actually I want the day of the year. Now fortunately the Scala API has a function in it called uh, day of year that we can use to get the day of the year. Um, so I'm going to make another data frame here. I'm going to call it with DOY info. So this will be a data frame that has what we had before, the cluster data, but I'm going to add in some additional columns. So first off, I want to add in the column, actually for now this is the only one I'll add, it's simply going to be called DOY and it is going to be set equal to the day of year calculated on date. Okay. Um, so now this is unhappy right now because it is in the SQL function so we need another import here. I'll copy that one and paste and I want functions dot underscore so I want to bring in all the functions and that will make it so day of year is happy because that's where that's located. So this now gives me a uh, a data frame that will have an additional column called DOY that is the day of the year. And that gives me the information that I want to plot this up. So let's pull out the day of year for this which will be with DOY info dot select DOY dot as a double collect then the values that I want which will be uh, the max temp so once again I do with DOY info this time I am going to select out value because the only values that we have are T max values here. I will also make that into a double and collect those. Um, I think that's happy for what I want for, for right now. So I am going to make, I'll call it the temp plot. And the temp plot is simply going to be a plot dot scatter plot to start with. Our x value is the day of year. Our y value is the max temp. I'll give it a title. The label is day of year. The x type is linear, so I will leave that out. And in fact, I'll put some title equals. Uh, X label equals left off an L and label Y label equals I'm just going to call it temp we won't worry too much about the units uh, symbol size is 3 symbol color is we'll go with black and we're good with the defaults for those and then I should be able to render that so FX renderer of the temp plot that appears to be happy let's try running it 
interestingly, the plot here seems to be giving us month values instead of the day of the year. We'll want to look into that. They go from 1 to 12. But the general idea, uh, and I don't want these so quantized, the general idea, though, is that this is not a simple line. Of course, you could have guessed that. The temperatures over the course of a year are low in the winter, at least in the northern hemisphere, and then they go up in the summer and back down. We would expect this kind of sinusoidal shape to it. And for the final thing that I want to do of trying to find uh, kind of regions of the world and what their climate is like, the amount of fluctuation between the, the summer highs and the winter lows is an interesting thing to, to look at. Now, I could just get something and say, okay, well, let's look at standard deviation. But that would actually include all of this scatter that's in the, you know, each in the data here. And I don't want the scatter for, for the distribution. I want kind of difference between summer and winter. And one way to do that would be to actually fit a sinusoid through here. And so that's what it is that, that I want us to do. I want us to, to fit a sinusoidal function through this. Fortunately, we know the period. The period is one year. It should take one year to go from low to high to low again. So that's not an adjustable parameter. The only thing that's a parameter is exactly where the lowest point is, where the highest point is. So that would be the phase of it and the amplitude. And so it turns out we can do that just by fitting uh, two simple functions, one sine and one cosine added together with coefficients, and that's what a linear fit does. And so we'll come back in the next video, and we'll look at how we can actually do, we'll, we'll set up our data frame so that we can do a linear regression that will give us a sinusoid through the, the temperatures.